To calculate the formal charge for each atom in XeF6 xenon hexafluoride, let's first take a look at the Lewis structure here. So this Lewis structure, we have all of the fluorines with octets, and then the xenon in the center has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 valence electrons around it. That's okay though, because elements in period three and below, they can have what's called an expanded octet. So it's, it's okay to have xenon with that many valence electrons. So this is the correct Lewis structure. We've used all the valence electrons, all the fluorines have octets and xenon, that's okay with an expanded octet. So let's look at the formal charge for this fluorine. So for this fluorine here, fluorines in group 17, sometimes called 7A, seven valence electrons, unbonded. We have two, four, six valence electrons that aren't involved in chemical bonds. And then we're gonna subtract one half of the bonded valence electrons. So this is the chemical bond that holds the fluorine and the xenon together, and it represents a pair of valence electrons. So we have two valence electrons here, and then seven minus six is one, one minus one is zero. So we could put a formal charge here of zero on this fluorine atom. And in fact, all of these fluorine atoms here, they're identical, so you could put zero on those as well. In the center are xenon, atom here, Xe. It's a noble gas. It's in group 18, or called 8A sometimes, and it has eight valence electrons. Unbonded, it has two. So these two right here, those are unbonded. You can put them right in. And we're going to subtract half of the bonded valence electrons. So let's count the bonds. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve unbonded valence electrons. Eight minus two, that's six. And then six minus six is zero. So the formal charge on the xenon, I'm gonna write it right here, is zero. When we look at formal charges, the best or most likely Lewis structure is the one that has formal charges closest to zero. In this case, with xenon hexafluoride, XeF6, every atom has a formal charge of zero. So that means this is the correct Lewis structure for XeF6. This is Dr. B with the formal charges for xenon hexafluoride and thanks for watching.